Good evening, everyone. Welcome to worship for October the 28th, 2020 with Messiah Evangelical Lutheran Church and Emmanuel United Church of Christ in New Berlin, Pennsylvania. It is good to gather this evening as God's people for worship and praise and prayer. Tonight, I'll talk about my friend Martin here. Martin Luther, uh, uh, about 503 years ago, is said to have tried to start a debate about what he perceived to be um, inappropriate uses of God's grace to cause fear and trembling in the hearts of people. And he nailed these uh, arguments for debate called the 95 Theses to the door of a church in Wittenberg, Germany. And the Reformation of the church was kick-started. We say it was begun there, but really the church has always been reforming. And our two congregations trace our history very immediately to the German reformers, Martin Luther and Philip Melanchthon, for us here at Messiah Lutheran Church, and um, Emmanuel United Church of Christ, more directly traces to Ulrich Zwingli and John Calvin um, in the Palatine region of Germany. And the reformers brought about, reforms brought about there. There was a lot of intermingling of ideas and um, different, but slight differences in understandings of things. But over the last 500 years, we've had conversations and debates and dialogues. And at one point, possibly the Lutherans tried to take apart the church when our congregations were meeting together. But that was 152 years ago, so we don't worry about that so much anymore. Um, and it, this day, we give thanks for all the ways we keep making the church new. And God's church keeps being made new in and around and among us, even still today. I invite you to take a few deep breaths. Center your heart as we pray. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church.
The Old Testament lesson reading comes from Deuteronomy chapter 26, beginning at verse 16. This very day the Lord your God is commanding you to observe these statutes and ordinances, so observe them diligently with all your heart and with all your soul. Today you have obtained the Lord's agreement to be your God and for you to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes, his commandments, and his ordinances, and to obey him. Today the Lord has obtained Obtained your agreement to be his treasured people as he promised you, and to keep his commandments, for him to set you high above all nations that he has made, in praise and in fame and in honor, and for you to be a people holy to the Lord your God as he promised. Then Moses and the elders of Israel charged all the people as follows. Keep the entire commandment that I am commanding you today. On the day that you cross over the Jordan into the land that the Lord your God is giving you, you shall set up large stones and cover them with plaster. You shall write on them all the words of this law when you have crossed over, to enter the land that the Lord your God is giving you, a land flowing with milk and honey, as the Lord the God of your ancestors promised you. So when you have crossed over the Jordan, you shall set up these stones, about which I am commanding you today, on Mount Ebal, and you shall cover them with plaster. And you shall build an altar there to the Lord your God, an altar of stones on which you have not used an iron tool. You must build the altar of the Lord your God of unhewn stones, then offer up burnt offerings on it to the Lord your God. Make sacrifices of well-being and eat them there, rejoicing before the Lord your God. The Psalter reading comes from to us from Psalm 119, beginning at verse 41. Let your steadfast love come to me, O Lord, and your salvation according to your promise. Then shall I have a word for those who taught me, because I trust in your word. Do not take the word of truth out of my mouth, for my hope is in your judgments. I will always keep your teaching forever and ever. I will walk at liberty because I study your commandments. I will tell of your decrees before kings and will not be ashamed. I will delight in your commandments, your commandments that I love. I will lift up my hands to your commandments and I will meditate on your statutes. And the good news of Christ is recorded in the Gospel of Matthew, beginning with verse 16. Then someone came to him and said, Teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? And he said to him, Why do you ask me about what is good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, Keep the commandments. He said to him, Which ones? And Jesus said, You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, honor your father and mother, also you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, I have kept all these, what do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go, sell your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. When the young man heard this word, he went away grieving, for he had many possessions. This is the word of God. Word of life. 
Thanks be to God. See if we can do this. let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
for this holy house. For all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvest that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all servants of the church, for this assembly and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest. Rejoicing in the communion of Simon and Jude, Martin and Katie, Philip, Ulrich and John, and all the saints. We commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you through Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O God. You have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending by paths as yet untrodden through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, we are bold to pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God which surpasses all understanding. Keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord, my friends.